Okay, I'm sorry if you're here for Hearthstone. Hold on, I'm talking to some guy that I got into an argument with over some stupid shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, what's up? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, oh, holy shit, I just, I think our voices are kind of similar, that's pretty scary. Is it? Okay. Uh, well, I'm just, I'm just, I'm not gonna, I'm not that I, Shika, guy, dude, whatever. Yeah, no, you're just the dark Jew. Yeah. Yeah. Lee autistic name. Yeah, that's um, okay. But, so your question about the, uh, whole, like, being... I don't know, like, being, going to another civilization, right, on another alien planet, right? Yeah, okay, so let's just, like, so I'll get out, like, my original question, okay? Okay. So my original question to chat that I was curious about was, if we were to find, if an alien civilization were to make contact with us, or if we were to discover one and make contact with them, would we both have some type of periodic table of elements with, that we'd be able to communicate to each other? That was, like, my question. I'm just curious if, like... Okay. Well, you, you said, okay, you said we both find our own periodic tables of elements, correct? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I never really had an art, like... Uh, but, my, but the insinuation was that our periodic tables would be very similar, that we, assuming we could figure out a way to communicate with each other, that we would be able to understand completely. Like, after, like, a little bit of deciphering, we could exactly figure out theirs because of the way atomic structures work, that we would exactly know, like, oh, well, this is a periodic table, look, you can see this here, and that it would be arranged in a, in a, in a somewhat rational way that with our understanding of science, we would be able to understand. That, that was my question. Okay, okay. Um, well, so you're talking like we're trying to understand, so if an alien civilization came to our planet, vice versa, if we both, like, what are we trying to do here? Are we trying to talk to each other, or are we trying to understand our both fundamental ideas of science? It's because about communicating argument... fundamental scientific ideas to one another. Okay. Was the idea. Because my... My 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 issue with this is, you 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 talked about th that like we both can understand the same thing, but I feel like, in a distant planet or even a close one, what what is what is this notion that they would have the exact same ideas no matter what, or even incredibly similar, no matter who they are or where they are. I I, I this no. I feel like in order to have in order to do like advanced construction or to have like an advanced civilization, I feel like there are some things that it just seems like you would have to have some kind of understanding of. The periodic table of elements, right? A basic understanding of the way that elements interact with each other and things like the light spectrum, right? Like I feel like those are really, I feel like those are really basic things that there's no possible way you could make an advanced civilization and, and construct advanced things and have things that interact with each other without understanding things like that. Like the but, periodic tables, it seems like you would have to do it. Like how could you make anything otherwise? I mean, I don't think there's 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 no fair assumption. I mean, it's if like think about it like a scientific theory, right? Because a scientific theory is something that could never be inherently proven. You can never you never could wake up one day and say, man, this theory of relativity, well, that's a hundred percent, or or the Big Bang theory, that's a hundred percent, string theory, that's a hundred percent, right? That you you could never wake up in the morning and say that because they're all fundamental ideas that are proven through through. Well, hold on, wait. There's a lot of words going on. First of all, wait. None of those are fundamental ideas. Those are highly theoretical. Well, okay. Even right, like the Big Bang. Like, I, but I, I am, but I am, but I am talking about a fundamental thing. The, I think the periodic table of elements is not like an abstract theory or like some theorized thing. Like it's a very fundamental organization that encompasses a lot of our understanding of the basic elements that exist throughout the entire universe, right? Assuming okay. that. Okay. Well, let's push her. I think we should push away from the whole periodic table of elements. It's very because I mean I know that they're a series of organization. They're a very efficient way of organizing uh, the elements, right? But th then we need to dove into the fact that that they might not even have the ability to just uh, perceive or um, or have the very same idea of how atoms, electrons, protons, neutrons, all that stuff, they might not even have the idea of how those things work. And not because they're lower life forms, because they've either pushed so far advanced that, or they never had the ability to in the beginning. If they never so, have the ability to understand or organize the, the basic elements on a table, how could they possibly work with those elements to create... Well, again, and this is what of bothers substance. me. Well, this this thing is what bothers me a lot when people talk about science, right? Is again, what I'm saying, what I was saying in chat is 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 that we 
as humans, we're very like, you know, what's the word? Like, we, we like to think we're right, right? Everyone likes to think they're right. But when it comes down to it, we don't know if we're right. We don't know if atoms will look the way they are because we don't know if our tools are right. I know it's playing semantics, but in the in in okay, but do you know how do you know how we figure out if we're right or not? It's it, like I think a large part of that. Maybe somebody who has like a bachelor's in science can correct me, but I think a large part of whether or not we're right comes from the predictive ability of our models, right? And for, so far, for the past century, it seems like the predictive ability of all of our models has been really well done, right? Because we've seen advancements in, si but in it, all it, sorts no, of no, science, no, no. especially computer to technology. Science, we've only put, according to science, so right. This is what I'm saying. I'm thinking, this is this is this is the thing the way I'm thinking. If a civilization came to our planet and okay. they presented a new way of thinking, a very most fundamental two plus two, one plus one, right? And they and they spinner presented where it equals three and five, you know, all that stuff. Then then we we digress from everything we possibly ever known. So like you're assuming that even at the very finest level, we're right. And that's what I was I was wrestling with. That's okay, but the reason why I'm assuming that is because our predictive models have accurately predicted everything over the past like century. Again, but but w you're you're assuming that like that our predictive models will hold up because they have for a century. Yes, <laughs> I mean I am assuming that. I mean I could be wrong, but it doesn't science is it? Because if you were if you have a scientific mind, I'm not like trying to insult you. I'm just saying if you have a scientific mind, you think like. Everything is wrong, but everything is right. So you gotta, you have to keep going forward. You have to keep thinking new ideas. No, Am I wrong? what? Yeah, what? You think everything is wrong? Everything is right? Wait, this sounds like nothing. No, the way that you, you you approach everything with the idea that it fits in your scientific model, and then if it doesn't, then you either have to dramatically change your model or change it in such a way that it fits in, right? Or alter and adapt. But you don't think everything is wrong or everything is right. Like, like for most science, we assume that our model is correct unless proven otherwise, right? That's why when that neutrino was found that discovered the speed of light, everybody, that was like a mind-blowing thing, right? right? And then the first assumption was it's wrong. It has to be because it totally contradicts our entire model of everything. And then they rechecked their calculations and then it turned out that all of their shit was fucked. So that, okay, then there, there you go. That's exactly what I'm saying, right? So, what? I, okay, I, I maybe we're on a different point here, but what I'm saying is is when with coming back to the original idea of the, the aliens or whatever, um, they could have started out right. They evolved. They they. I mean, that could be wrong, but we're not going to discuss that. Uh, they they could evolve. They could have intelligent minds. They 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 go to like build a microscope or whatever they build, and they look at they look at something and they say, oh, this looks one way. And then we're here on Earth. We say it looks a different way. They come to our planet or vice versa. And we and we have different varying opinions, and I don't think it's a like a universal thing. I really don't think that um, all things are a hundred percent around. Okay, so like this I'm is saying, this is my I'm big problem. Okay, I'm gonna get I'm like okay, I'm gonna get really mean here. Okay, so this is my big problem. I feel like the only way you can make a statement like that is if you don't understand. And I'll go back to the periodic table months. I feel like you just have to have no understanding of what that table means and the information on that table. If you think that it's all just like subjective stuff, like, well, what if they think that an atom no, looks no, totally saying, different? But but saying, because, because what you just said, well, what if they look through a microscope and see something different? Now we're talking about like subjective things of like what does an image look like, rather than hydrogen has one proton or carbon has you know. Yeah. Four valence electrons and like interacts Holy with things shit, in these ways. Like I feel like these are like. like one of I think that um. That says yeah, maybe, the maybe, I, maybe I said the wrong word. Evolution. Uh, well, it's not. Well, no, no, no. It's not that you said the wrong word. It's that I think you um. Like you're conveying concepts Helium that are completely two unrelated two to what we're talking about. It doesn't matter who you yeah, are. Yeah. Sorry. Fuck the donation. But like there are things where it's like this has like helium is this or carbon is this and reacts in this way. Period. It doesn't matter how you look at it or how you observe it or what your tools are. Any, not, that's completely irrelevant. It will always, elements will always interact with each other the exact same way in every part of the universe. Okay, so, I, I'm not, not saying I don't believe those things. I'm not saying that those things are wrong in my eyes. Okay, but I'm you're saying, saying that like we're, another we're, race... We're, we're, we're speaking... Yeah, I'm saying that like magically, or not magically, but like another race on another planet, right? They do the same things as us, but they either get a different result or they don't have they, they have get a, a different, different result how wait they explain have, it you have to explain that what do you mean get a different result okay let's say they evolve their brain is is or brain or however they think process whatever is fundamentally different so they have only one way of understanding how elements work right so they make uh they make a microscope similar to ours but it's not the same right so they look at an atom and an atom is a square right i'm not i'm just trying to make a point <laughs> okay and i'm not, i obviously we're not we're not arguing the shape of that but 
but with, but no, but you're like, this is again, we're going back to, I feel like you have a fundamental misunderstanding of what the periodic table is if you're saying this. Like, it doesn't matter yeah, how you I'm observe fine. the element. Elements are always going to interact with each other the exact same way, no matter how you perceive them, no matter how you interact, no matter what you do with them, elements will interact with each other the exact same way in every part of the universe. Okay, this sounds super, super autistic, but I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say that, that again, that you are assuming that everything else we have done in our, in our idea and understanding of science and universe and whatever is all correct. Uh, I'm not saying that, like, I'm not saying that, like, I 100% believe that. I'm not saying that I, I'm, I'm telling Einstein's wrong. I'm just saying that you're, when you come to an alien civilization, and this, this maybe, maybe this is an issue that, or not an issue, but like an argument that can't really be had because we, we could never know, right? And I, I was going to say something earlier in chat where, where it's like similar how, to aliens coming, where we would never know if we were wrong unless an aliens actually did come to our planet and told us we were wrong or right, right? How can we know this is okay, maybe we maybe we were arguing the wrong thing, but I'm just saying that I think that aliens could have a way different idea of science, and we are assuming way too hard that we are right. And that and this is what bothers me about science and people who talk about science is that is that when you assume that you're right, you'll never have a different perspective. You'll never have Okay, so here's my problem with people that talk about this stuff. When people say things like, you just assume we're right, I feel like you're the kind of person that would say like, well, you think that the periodic table of elements is right now, but did you also know that we also used to think the Earth was the center of the universe? We also used to think that the Earth was flat. We used to think all these bad things, and now we think the periodic table of elements is right. Who's to say that won't get debunked the same way that all those other theories did? Is that what you're... Okay, I'll, I would say something similar. I would say that... Okay, yeah, so yeah, what yeah, I would say is, what I would say is, all of those past things were complete fucking bullshit, right? The flat earth theory was just like, what can we see with our eyes? The earth being the center of the okay, universe. Okay, the calculations very, very to make that work were absurdly complicated and retarded, which I think is one of the first reasons why the earth not being the center of the universe was worked out, is because mathematically, well, if the sun is the center, it's way fucking easier for everything else to make sense, right? None of those theories had like any mathematical rigor to them or any predictive qualities to them, right? What did the flat earth predict that, that we use in everyday life, right? Whereas the periodic table has yielded tons, a, a metric fuckload of predictive things from it. You can I take the periodic table and then you can, you can go buy yourself a chemistry kit and interact chemicals with each other and you can do the fucking equations and start geometry. I mean, you can write it out and you can do all of it based on what we know on the periodic table. If I we would think that, that like a, scient a, a scientific theory matters quantitatively how much it benefited no like, what it absolutely does how, if, how if you if you make a scientific theory that has zero predictive elements and there's no scientific rigor behind it it's not an actual scientific theory okay. there's no, no valid no, no, hypothesis and nothing was you can't, you can't you can't measure like how good a theory is based on how much quantitativeness how, you how, don't think how, predict the predictiveness of a model might be indicative of how accurate it is at all oh no 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 that's not what i'm saying like if you do something more than more than once and it's, it's it's right then then yeah but i think that like okay those people in the past that believe that the the, the earth was flat right they had their model of looking i think this is exactly this is a very good point um those people in the past who had the the model of the the world was flat right they had their way of looking at it and they had their own they had they had what they had to look at it and they said man the earth must be flat i don't know the whole things behind that i really don't but i'm just saying that it i think it's a it's not but you would compare objective. the people saying the Earth looking flat. You would compare those people to people that say the periodic element of the periodic table of elements is true. You would say not one hundred percent, not even fifty percent. Just I'm just like slightly. I think anything compared slightly just is. It's just okay. So my yeah, argument just, against who, that is okay. Okay, because I, I can't. I can't. The, the, so the flat earth thing made zero predictions about the earth that t turned out to be true. There was okay. no way, like, you, no one ever, listen, I can say this with 100% confidence, in the entire okay. history of all of mankind, nobody ever sailed off the edge of the earth and fell into nothingness. It never happened, right? right? So the flat earth model or whatever didn't predict anything. It didn't make any predictions about anything whatsoever because you could sail around the world. Right? There, so that had zero predictiveness to it. The periodic table of elements, first of all, it arose via a lot of observation and scientific rigor, not just guessing like the flat earth shit did, right? Because the horizon is flat, right? And secondly, the periodic table of elements makes so many predictions, millions or billions of predictions that have held up to be true over the past fucking two cent, what was it, like the fucking 1850s or whatever when the periodic table like first started to come about, like has held up prediction after prediction after prediction. I feel like you can't possibly compare the everything that the periodic table of elements has been through. I feel like you can't possibly compare that 
to a random theory that somebody just thought without any predictiveness whatsoever. Like, okay, but but okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's let's go back because this is what happened in chat. This is what happened when we were calling each other retards in it, and it was like stupid. Uh, is we were arguing if anyone can correlate anything, no matter where they are in the universe, because the universe is, is the same for everyone, right? Yes. So, so I'm saying what I, my point is here is that it's not really subjective. It is just a matter of how your civilization and how you, as like a being or whatever perceive the knowledge that you were given right if you can if you can when you talk about something. perception you're talking about subjectivity how you perceive something is a okay, subjective I mean, no, experience 100 subjective then i mean it's it's because you can look at something and say well i can pick that up right but at the same time you don't know like all about it and that's that's exactly what i'm saying i'm saying that that any civilization that could develop this uh like advanced whatever they couldn't come to earth or like maybe one in a 12 could come to earth and say, yeah, we know exactly what you guys are talking about. You know, this is like, this is the 115th element that we've synthesized that like 400 billion years ago. Like, right. I don't think that's a feasible thing that will happen. I think if aliens, and I'm not trying to be like, one of those you aliens, don't think so. Even though like the stars are all made up of like the same fucking composition and all this shit, you don't think that an alien race could come to our planet and get, and somehow we communicate each other. Hey, these two elements interact like in stars would be a good example, right? These elements interact in these ways to produce this kind of energy and these kinds of new elements. Like this is how these interact. You don't think that's possible. Even though all the stars no, 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 around the I observable never, universe... I never said that it wasn't possible. I said... Well, are not possible, but even highly likely that an alien civilization... Is, is, highly likely, no. No, I think it, it best hits a 50-50 because it's... And, and I think this this is a fair point to argue here, is, is that there are so many planets and so many viable hosts for life that, that even... Okay, if a brain develops in a certain way, right, they can only perceive so much in such a way. You, you don't... You don't know if they're correct or you're correct. And it's all based on evidence. And that's why I don't like this. This definitively, you can say that an alien can come to our planet and we'd all understand the same thing. That's what I didn't like. Wait, say that again? Uh, basically what I said is, I don't like the, the argument of of that 100% any alien or even 99, you know, anything above like 50, could come to our planet and and... And agree on the same thing because no matter what, because no matter what, it's 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 a hundred percent. Because I don't I don't like that. I, it's not how science. That's not how science is. It's never how science has been. Science is always progression of ideas, right? You you. I mean I I mean I would never say it's a one hundred percent thing. Sure, well, I mean, I would never say that, but I would expect it. Like, I would say there is a... I feel like there would be a high probability that if an alien civilization were to interact with our civilization and they were sufficiently advanced enough to create travel amongst the stars, that that civilization would be able to communicate some sort of periodic table of elements to us. I, I, I feel like that's a decent assumption. I, like, I would bet money on it with big odds. Like, I would bet money that they have some sort of periodic table. Or if they don't, and they've advanced beyond it, at some point they would at least be able to... Un they, or they would be able to understand our model, very simply, right? Maybe our model okay, doesn't I, have I all agree. the answers, I, okay. but they would be able to... They would see our model, and they would instantaneously know, right, after communicating, like, oh, these... I understand exactly how humans have this organized. It makes complete sense. Maybe okay. our model is better, but... I think I, I think that, that it, uh, no offense, but I think you contradict your own point then by saying that if they advanced or they were advanced enough before us where they didn't need that model, but they understood it, then it doesn't it, it doesn't matter if they didn't understand it to begin with because their model is still different by correct that. if they advanced. But not not different in a way that contradicts our model, but different in a way that they might have a better understanding of it. I think we're I think. What, what do you mean by understanding? Understanding of the atoms, understanding of the elements, or understanding? Yeah, like I, you could no. take an alien civilization and somehow find a way to communicate our periodic table of elements to them, and then they would see it and they would go, "We completely understand this and everything about this, and we know exactly what you were trying to say, and we have you know similar ideas about how the universe works because the periodic table of elements compare com, uh, com, or but contain sorry say, contains immutable truths of the universe, right? But then they would say, "And here's where you're wrong." No. Yeah, but that here's where you're wrong wouldn't contradict everything we know to be true. I mean, maybe not everything. And that's I never said that. I'm just saying that I, I think you made a, a, a brash assumption about how how uh, how the universe works in general and how culture and, and how progression works. 
No, I, I'm not talking about culture and progression, just the universe. <laughs> Things like how elements interact with each other. I mean, I, I, and I'm going to say something that's super autistic again, but again, how do we know that that's right? That's because we've made plenty of predictive things based on that table and all but of them so if far an alien came, if an alien came to our planet and said that was wrong then who would be right we it don't can't know. be wrong though maybe like we don't have as deep an understanding but like so many predictive things like what what are the possibilities for it being wrong our entire that civilization our model that only work in our model make up a new model then put those those same kind of just put in the the, the theory that you can put you can light something on fire and, and put that in there. You know, I'm not saying that's a theory. I'm just saying you put that in there and your model wouldn't work because it's a completely different separate thing. And that's what I'm saying. Because I mean, I guess that might be assuming is right. possible oh. that there is something that completely doesn't fit into our model. We just haven't observed it anywhere in the universe yet. Except for maybe dark matter, if that turns out to be like some crazy ass fucking shit. I don't know. I'm not going to get into dark matter. I feel like mainly because I fully don't understand. And I, uh, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe we're arguing about nothing. I really can't tell you. I just know that that science is, uh, you know, it's it's a progression of ideas through understanding you've had before, right? You 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 know when they when they built a periodic table, right? They knew they had they knew they had elements. They knew they had everything, but they had a way to put them together. So they put them together, right? And that was a fundamental idea they had before and they put it together and then they had the elements, right? And I think that, I think that's, that's, that's where we transgress, right? Because if you're on another planet and they have their fundamental idea of like, you know, their two plus two equals five, right? I'm not saying that the numbers are the same, but I'm saying that, that if you have two objects and two objects, that equals five for some reason. What? On their, what? On their, on, in their plane, their... So their you're saying that in some parts of the universe, maybe there's like different laws of science? I'm, again, you're assuming that... That the laws of physics are constant? No, no, no. That your original idea that this math works this way is not, is, is we don't know for sure. You're assuming that it's 100%. No? Am I wrong? I mean, to some extent, I guess I am assuming that. I guess, like, the the basic crux of my argument is that you would be able... If you found an alien civilization, you could say things like hydrogen has one proton, helium has two protons, and these would be, like, immutable truths and the right all throughout the periodic table that we could communicate to one another, right? Concept, and then even more advanced concepts, like the noble gases or the different metals or whatever, like, that we could communicate these things to each other. Okay, maybe, maybe I'm not arguing so much that we can't communicate ideas... But I am arguing in the fact, the, the, the forward-thinking idea in science that we are not 100% right. And, that, and again, I'm going to say this one more time, is that you're once again assuming that... The pro you're know, what we, oh, we know, okay, like, you, you look, you look through, they looked through a microscope, they saw an atom had a proton, they saw it had a neutron, they saw it had an electron, right? So we know this because we saw it. But well, you're assuming that to get to that step, to understand how the microscope works, to understand how light That's works, not true! None of that is true! No! What? We, 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 when we constructed atomic models to make the periodic table of elements work, it wasn't because we looked at the atom and we saw how many protons, neutrons, and electrons there were. It was because of the way that the elements interacted with one another. And it was because of all of the different properties of these elements once they're organized on the periodic table that they all share, right? It wasn't because we looked at them and, and then we saw them and, that, and that's well, where it I, came I, from. I was actually speaking in the terms of math, but... But, but, but... But you're talking, like, looking at things, you're talking about, like, subjective things, instead of things like objective reactions, right? Reactions that occur between elements are objective things that will occur in the universe regardless of how you perceive them. Like... I've... Dang, means. This guy is correct but can't explain why he is right. Bring me on and he'll explain this. Okay, well... I think I think we're arguing a different point here. I really do. I think because I think what you believe is, and I'm not tr I'm not trying to be insulting. I'm really not so uh, bare my autism, but um, if if you look at something, 
with science, right? And I've been always been a forward thinker in this. Uh, you know, I'm I'm gonna go to college for this. I'm not trying to shove it over you. I'm just saying that I've always been a forward thinker. I always try to think that like we could be wrong, so you have to think of it in a perspective, right? You know, all arguments should you should think of both sides so you can understand both sides. And I think that it what frustrated me so much is when you originally said that was is I hate the people who say we are right and that science is right 100% of the time. And I don't like that. I really don't. Okay, but science, no one has said that science is right 100% of the time. The problem is you're making all these false equivalencies. You're, you're he, oh my God, there's an episode of, is it, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Is that the one with the guy, did you, have you ever seen the clip on my stream where the guy is like, um, science is a bitch sometimes? That, one, that one's, that one's the, with the, what what's the name of that clip? Who knows what I'm talking about? Science is a uh, uh, that one's like the, with the the studying Philadelphia. It's the one with the fat dude and like the two weird guys and the the weird girl. Yeah, is the one? science oh, yeah. is a liar sometimes. So you're looking at these things, okay? Uh, okay, I feel like you're looking at some things like the Earth is the center of the universe, or the Earth is flat, or um, eating mercury cures you of disease. Right? People used to think these things. Right? That you're looking at these things. And you're saying, well, look, science thought these things, and they were completely wrong. And now science thinks this thing, like the periodic table of elements, and it could be completely wrong. I feel like that's kind of like the general idea, right? You're saying that we used to have all of these scientific beliefs at these points in times, and they've been changed, right? Like, you could say right. the theory of relativity challenged Newton's, like, you could say, like, all these things, right? Okay? Right. But what I'm saying is that the these ideas are not comparable, that... The predictiveness of past models has never been as good as the predictiveness of the models we have now. And that you could, and then even okay. going by science at the time, like if you take a if you take a rational human being and you stick them into a point in history when we believed that um, that the Earth was flat, that that rational human being at the time could actually say like the Earth may what do you mean be. By, what do you, okay, when what I do say you rational, I mean somebody with perfect yeah. logic, somebody who can think, right? Not not no science, but just can think. He can say that okay, we believe that the Earth okay. is flat, or we believe that the Earth is the center of the universe, but we don't really have anything to really back this up, and we don't even um, and we and, and these models don't do anything for us. They don't really predict anything, so they're kind of useless, right? So if they get proven yeah, I'm wrong, really familiar with I'm not really familiar with the center of the universe theory or all that. Okay, but, sure, but I'm just saying that in, the, in these times, if those I'm models, I'm just saying that in these times, if those like, models were proven incorrect it's not like a big deal like when we but went didn't from they have, didn't they have at least some evidence of some kind rather whether or not it was like correct or in any way or or not really no no way? because the amount of evidence available to people at those times is much less than the amount of evidence now what i'm what i'm saying is that the people of those times if those models were proven wrong they didn't really lose much or it wasn't mind-blowing like the earth is round like even when christopher columbus went sailing i think a lot of people on the earth if not the majority figured that all oh, the earth is probably round but even if it was discovered it's not like the huge thing like oh my god like our whole scientific understanding well, is fucked I, now I was like, like i thought I mean, I'm, I'm going to say something really dumb, but, I, you know, I'm pretty sure, like, even in high school, they told me, they, they told us, they were like, it was kind of a big deal, you know, that they realized that the universe was round, or that the Earth was round, right? I, I, even deal. when, I I'm almost positive that when Christopher Columbus went sailing, the mo most people knew that the Earth, figured that the Earth was probably round. But, uh, but, but when I'm why, just... That's, that's why he went sailing, is right? Is yeah, right. sure. But, but, but what I'm saying is that even if those models were proven wrong, it's not a big deal, because there weren't a ton of predictive things that would have to be reworked. Like, if it was wrong, it was just wrong, that's it, right? Whereas if you fast forward to now, if something like the periodic, periodic table of elements was completely wrong, we have... We have decade after decade of empirical evidence of medicine, of technology, of computer shit, of, of airplane travel, of nuclear, um, of all these different things, right? Nuclear fission, fucking the atom bombs, nuclear power plants. Um, all, we have all these different, we got a fucking space station. We have all these ideas and a lot of these ideas, I, 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 you could probably say every single idea can be traced back to the the periodic table of, of elements gives us a lot of predictive qual qualities that are correct, right? All these things are, we just know them to be true and we can trace all this back to the periodic table. If the periodic table were discovered to be completely wrong, it would be like, it would actually be absolutely mind-blowing. Like, it would be crazy. 
because we have all these predictive things from it. We've got all of these advancements from it. For that to be wrong, like we would have to do so much work to refigure out our universe. Like it would make Again, no I'm sense, right? Whereas, it, whereas if you go back and you compare that to like flat Earth being round, it's like, oh, whatever. Fuck, we didn't get fucking shit out of that. Yeah, sure. Or the Earth not being the center of the universe. Oh, okay, whatever. We didn't get fucked. Now I, our calculations for the planets orbiting the sun is a lot simpler than everything orbiting the Earth, right? I, so I don't, I don't think it's fair to say that because because we were wrong about these things at one point in time, where well, we could be wrong about everything equally as likely. I think that the I think there are degrees of probability in which you can believe something is true, and I think the periodic table of elements is like a 99.9999999% whereas something like flat earth or center of the universe earth is like a 0.01% because there's no empirical evidence and there's no testing or anything like Okay. I might be talking a little bit on my ass here, but um I know I know this isn't like a like I know this isn't like a, a like what I'm saying doesn't like isn't 100% true, but doesn't um the theory of quantum superposition ex uh, rectify a lot of issues with the periodic table and a lot of things that don't really make any sense with it? Um, I think quantum superposition accounts for like uh, the issues with. Ah, uh, fuck! I don't even know. I haven't talked a little bit of mess. But uh, I I mean, from my understanding of it, I could be wrong. Quantum, quantum mechanics quantum has very little to do with like macro things, although some people in chat have argued that there are some quantum things that could fuck with some macro things, but qu I, nothing that we've learned in quantum mechanics has like totally fucked our understanding of normal mechanics. Like, But quantum superposition accounts for atoms existing in those states, or in states that they don't... They but it doesn't, but, but even if it does, it doesn't change any... I, I could be wrong here, but I've never in my life have I heard about I like classical mechanics or like macro mechanics. I've never heard of that being like, well, we discovered this thing in quantum and it totally changed how we look at things in a normal sense. I've never heard of that I before. I think that quantum supervision has changed the uh, has changed fundamental ideas uh, between um, uh, fuck it, uh, uh, what is that called? Uh, the mass. The what is it? You know what I'm thinking of? Mass. Mass. Uh, Atomic mass. It's changed the final idea of how we think of uh, atomic mass in atoms, no? I think, uh, or it's, or quantum mechanics have accounted for that. I, I don't know enough to say so, but I'm pretty sure I would bet money that quantum mechanics has never, like, debunked our understanding of everything oh, maybe else. Maybe not, maybe not, but it's, it's, it's changed a lot. I'm just, okay, uh, back to the original argument. I'm saying that I was just trying to prove a point that anything can change, and I think that that in a different world, in, in a literal different world, um, there are people, there there are a civilization out there who believes and figure out a different, better, or more uh, precise, fundamental way of understanding science or whatever they want to call it or whatever. But I don't think that would change immutable truths of the universe, like the fact that helium has two protons or hydrogen has one proton. Like, then I then I would have to say we, we could never agree because. I, I think that even if you go down to the very fundamentals, you know, even if they had eyes to look at them, and I, again, and you're going to say that I, that I'm looking at something, and I understand that it's math here on Earth, but we, we don't know these things for certain, and that's 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 the thing of science I like, and that's what I don't like when people argue it. Um, uh, but maybe we'll never agree, and that's that's maybe oh well. Okay, well I appreciate the conversation. I do too. All right, I love you love very much, office. okay? Heck. Ha. All right, <laughs> good luck. I'll see you later, bye. Okay, I'm sorry. I Sometimes I feel like whenever you talk... I'm sorry, we'll go back to Rina in a second. Okay, I feel like sometimes people talk about alien civilizations, okay? Which the, the existence of them would be really cool. I feel like if an alien civilization were to come to our planet, okay? I feel like people think that human beings have a very poor understanding of the universe. And people, like, a lot of the things that that guy was saying, I feel like a lot of people believe these things. Things like, oh, well, like, uh, you know, like, everything we know could be wrong. Or, like, an alien civilization would completely blow our mind and have all these things that would, like, totally be different than what we were expecting. Or, like, all these things would be, like, so fucking crazy and would completely change everything. What we study in science is based on our earthling bias. Historically, we've put most of... Our effort into the stuff we're already familiar with multiple valid models with. 
predictive qualities may exist that don't rely on our mass energy centric view. Okay. Um, but, but I feel like people think that aliens would come to Earth and like totally shatter our entire fucking blow our mind with everything and be like, oh, this is all so different. But I, I feel like we don't, I feel like those people either, I don't want to say like they don't know enough because the only chemistry I took was in high school, right? But I, fe I, I feel like if an alien civilization were to come to our planet, I feel like we could communicate the periodic table of elements to them and they would see it and they would, in, they would, assuming that we could translate it in a such a way that they could read, they would see it and they would instantaneously know, oh, we instantly know exactly what you're wow. talking about, right? Because like, maybe they wouldn't order the elements like we do, but ordering them in such a way by, you know, number of uh, protons or whatever in the fucking nucleus, they would instantly know like, oh yes, we exactly see this, right? I feel like... I, I, this is so weird, because I don't want to, like, make assumptions, but... Um... This table is very, very powerful, right? Like, you can glean so much information by looking at just- by just knowing everything- I don't remember everything for the periodic table of elements, but I know that, like, for instance, if we had every element on this table, except for, um, except for 18, right? If we knew everything, like, we could make a lot of predictive guesses about 18 based on what we know about 2, 10, 36, 54, 86, right? Because of the way that they're ordered, because of the properties that we know of things that have so many protons and electrons, because of how we know elements interact with each Like, like, this table, the periodic table of elements, this isn't just, like, a random, like, some guy decided, like, oh, well, like, I'm fucking, let's put an element here, and we need to put, we need to have space for the name, so we'll put the next element here, and then we can do two here because it looks nice or whatever. Like, it doesn't work like that. Like, this table is set up in a very, very specific way, in such a way that it's like a really, really powerful predictor. Like, even of elements that, like, we wouldn't, if, if we didn't have elements on our planet, um, if we didn't have, um, if we hadn't created some yet, like, like, this table is so insanely fucking powerful, and it's organized in a very, very, like, I don't want to say, like, a way of immutable truth, but I feel like the ways that elements interact with each other is kind of an immutable truth of the intervent, uh, of, of the universe, sorry. Like, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I, Kind of, no, because I studied it in high school. <laughs> I, 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 like, I feel like an alien race could look at this and they would know instant. Not just this, right? Because we would have to explain like, a little bit more. They would see this and they'd be like, okay, yes. Yes, we understand that this is what you mean by hydrogen. This is what you mean by helium. Based on the way that you have, you know, your noble gases listed on the right or your, like, your metals and all. Like, we, we understand exactly what you're saying, right? Like... I don't get the predictor thing you're talking about. Well, like, I fuck, dude. Chemistry was probably my worst class. Okay, so I, I don't want to go and read the whole Wikipedia right now. But the way that the elements are organized on the periodic table, di things in, in similar columns or similar rows share properties with one another. Such the way that even if you didn't know like what element sixty three was based on its positioning on the periodic table, even if you don't know what it is, and you've never seen it before, you can make predictive. Um, predictive uh, th thoughts about its um, about its qualities. You could say like it'll probably react in this way. It'll probably have these physical properties. It'll probably do like this or this. We could probably use it in these kinds of um, reactions, right? You can make those predictive things based on what we know about other elements surrounding it, or in a similar column or similar row, based on which one exactly you're talking about, like. Just because our predictions work does not mean it is true. I mean, I guess it could be false completely, but god damn. I, like, I would, like, for, for this to all be wrong, like, would require such a dramatic changing of everything. Like, I can't, I can't imagine, but that maybe that, like, I feel like we're getting into, like, supernatural, extra human, like, into godlike territory there, where everything we know about the periodic table could be wrong, but the, I don't think, maybe I sound arrogant here, but in order for you to say the periodic table could be completely wrong, I feel like you either have a very poor understanding of what this, if this was all wrong, like. Okay, so the space is our room for new ones. No, 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 no! Um, I think it was explained to me that like, 
Oh, fuck, I could be wrong. I, like I said, peer, uh, chemistry is the worst subject. The way these spaces work are all of these elements should theoretically go right here. Like, the periodic table of elements is actually kind of like a three-dimensional table, where you would, like, you would plug this column into that so it would look like this. Right? Does that make sense? These, these aren't missing elements. It's just that the way that it works, these would plug into here, and these would all plug into here, kind of like a three-dimensional table. Many elements in the table were named and described yeah. before they were actually observed. Yeah, that's that true too. So bad at explaining. Let oh, me guide shit. the way. History has repeatedly shown that models turn out to be false in extreme regimes. For example, Newt Newtonian gravity works fine on cosmic scales, but begins to break down at very small scales. Well, that's why. Well, that's like the whole deal of like reconciling quantum mechanics with like with like relativity and classical mechanics. Right? But that's like that's like a different thing. But even though, but just because we can't rectify it with quantum mechanics doesn't mean that it's all wrong and we throw it all out. Like, uh, all right, I'll call Harkton. I feel like I need to just play arena. We're getting like way fucking off. This wasn't supposed to be today. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> my job. All my uh, all my noticing finally went uh, noticed. I, I noticed. Senpai noticed you. All right, what's up? All right, so look, that guy was really bad at explaining all this stuff, trying to go to a matter level and all that type of stuff. Okay. The basic thing you have to keep in mind is. If something has so advanced, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, one second. Scientific and technological advancement. We have already created the most amazing piece of technology, the iPad E. <sighs> okay, I'm ready, ready? Uh, all right, yeah, so that guy was, you just have to keep in mind, if someone, if a, another race was so advanced to come here and look at something, you have to keep in mind that all of the knowledge that we've built up, like uh, even our math, right? The reason that we're on a base 10 system is because we have 10 fingers, like all of our systems are based around that. Um, so when it comes to the periodic table of elements, we think that that's important. We think that the reason- Okay, wait, 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 I have to stop for one quick second. So base 10 is a subjective interpretation of things, but it wouldn't change the objective. Like, um, how can I explain this? If somebody had like a base, um, if somebody had like a base eight system and then they counted all the way up to their ending number, right? And then got back to one or what they called 10 or whatever, the physical representation of that would still be the same as the number eight in our, like we could understand different bases. I'm sorry, is what I'm trying to say. I'm not, I'm not saying that math, I'm, I'm not saying math doesn't exist across the board. Yeah, I'm but saying, I'm, sa I'm saying, I understand that we use base 10 because we have 10 fingers or whatever, but like we could find an alien civilization with eight fingers that uses base eight and we could very quickly and easily convert and all of our laws would still hold up to be true. Like everything sure, would still sure. be exactly just, the same. I'm just giving an example that something that we take so for granted has been built around something that we, you know, we just take for granted. Matt, well, but, but, but the, but the base system doesn't change any of our science. Like, even if we used base five, it wouldn't change any of the science that we know to be true. Sure. So let's talk about the periodic table of elements. One thing I want to bring up here is, uh, have you ever seen the show, The Nick, by the way? Um, it's like a, it doesn't matter. It's a show about, uh, doctors, like in the 1920s, I think. And one of the interesting episodes that they had there is that they were trying to figure out why sometimes when they gave blood transplants, the patients would die, and sometimes they wouldn't. And the reason behind that is they didn't understand. Um, and they had all these theories, and they were looking at the blood, and they had all, you know, I don't know the scientific terms for all this type of stuff, but we have blood types now. Now we know how to determine blood types and everything like that. What I'm trying to say is that elements and what we see is them now could be ancillary to what really is on a lower level of matter. And what I mean by that is the, the, the lowest that we can look into something, I believe, is a, a quark, for instance. Like, so if you go below the atom and you keep going, that's it. So we can't look below that. So what we're seeing on the surface of what makes something like, uh, uh, you know, helium could not even, it might not be anything to do with what we think it is. It could just be completely ancillary. And as a result of that, just completely useless information once you get to the final point, and that might be the reason why. Or maybe in the future, Aliens only use carbon, and anything else is not the point. And spaceships are built out of carbon and uh, on a lower level, and just everything, that's the one element. And as a result, they don't need to know about periodic tables because it's kind of, it's just... Okay.
But the difference is, you're talking about finessing and understanding of a model, which I totally agree is possible, right? I, you could argue that that, that that was the point of, uh, of, or of I don't think, I, I don't know if string theory has had any predictive things to it that contradict anything, but like something like string theory would be like, oh, well, like the whole periodic table is kind of strange because, well, if you look at everything, it's just vibrating strings, it's string theory, right? And you can mathematically predict everything based on string theory, right? But that wouldn't mean the periodic table is wrong. It would just mean that it you might can... No, it might not be. I mean, the periodic table is correct for us. I'm just saying that it might not matter com at all to an advanced... I mean, if someone is so advanced... I mean, that you could would... argue that, but the chances that you could take something on a basic level and arrange it in such a way that makes so much sense on the periodic table, and that's just... Because essentially what you're saying there, then, is the periodic table is all just chance. You're saying that it's chance, and everything, every predicted element of it has always been chance. It's just all chance, because there's an underlying mechanism that renders the periodic table useless. That is essentially well, we what you're we saying. Don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't know that. We, uh, we I don't, mean, but, I, but I think that that's like a really huge stretch to guess and say that, well, the periodic table was all just chance. Really, there's something deep. There's an underlying mechanism that makes this all work, but the periodic table isn't really right at all. That I mean, just... for, all, for all we know, all, I mean, this is, again, I'm not like a scientist, but for all we know, if you go on a deeper level, there, there is no elements. Like, maybe below quarks, there's something else, and then as a, the deformity of a quark or something like that, it, it changes the structure of the outside thing or something like that. The, the point is that for someone to be so advanced to be able to come here, uh, the the knowledge that they have would not translate. I mean, they'd be like us looking at gorillas to the, that type of thing. But exactly. knowing things like how stars work or how like hydrogen is the most abundant uh, like element in the universe, like I feel like these are things that, or like the composition of planets, like these are all things that we can describe very accurately using our understanding of like like the light spectrum, like what kind of radiation excitement or uh, the periodic table elements, what kind of elements and how do they react with each other inside of stars to create planets. Like all of these things are like uh, the light spectrum. Like we can only see what we can see X-ray, gamma, um, you know, in, in different parts of that. There might be other entire wavelengths that we don't know about. I mean, that's the whole thing or it could be ancillary to something else. The whole point of acknowledging this is that if something is so advanced that it's been able to uh, come here. Yeah, but if, have... even if there are things in the light spectrum we haven't seen, then they would just be lower or higher than what we've currently observed. It wouldn't change our understanding of the light spectrum. It would just be there like... Could be, there could be entire... I mean, this... Like other dimensions? Like, that that could be the only thing that we would, could be talking about. That would Like, that would be... The, like, if a four-dimensional being were to visit us, that would be, like, the biggest mindfuck where everything we know would have to change, right? Like, well, I think if something was so advanced that it didn't destroy itself, because I'm a big believer in, like, uh, you know, the Fermi paradox and uh, the Great Light and things along those lines, and I definitely Can think that get back to uh, for something to be so advanced to have survived something like that and not to have destroyed itself, that it, it has to have had, you know, much deeper knowledge than we do, and I think that that's what... Yeah, but just because they have deeper knowledge doesn't render our knowledge incomplete. Like, you could, t you could go back to the past with, um... Oh fuck me! I, I don't I don't know. Like you could go back to the past with all with all sorts of knowledge we have now to modify and, and then take it to people in the past who would who would understand it even if they haven't gotten that far yet and they would be like oh well holy fuck yeah this makes sense for everything like you could go back to the fucking like the invention of the fucking light bulb and go back with a whole bunch of theory on scientific shit and then give it to them and they would probably be able to make all of that progress testing it and everything themselves like infinitely faster than if they had to discover it all themselves right because it would make sense to them right even even though they don't know it completely like they still had working models at the time and then they would modify the models or adopt our new ones and they would and they would just move along quicker like i feel like i like well, we even if we don't, we don't know i mean what what planet uh you know what's how similar their planet is to ours it could have completely different composition or makeup so when they come here the data that we have could be irrelevant i mean there's there's so many yeah but like even if it was even if like even if they had, like, if they were silicon-based life forms or whatever, right? They could come to our planet and they could understand, like, oh, well, these are all carbon-based life forms. Like, well, that makes sense. Fucking carbon can form huge fucking bonds with anything. That's why organic molecules are so easy to make out of carbon, right? You fucking carbon, hydrogen, hydrocarbons, fucking all fucking day. Like, yeah, well, this makes sense. Like, even if they're, like, formed out of completely different things, like, they could still come to our planet and completely understand it, right? Like... Well, my thought there is when you're saying that they're formed out of different things, you're going back to the assumption that the lowest level that we can get is this is hydrogen. That's it. That's the end of the story. I mean, I'm going it. by that because yeah. we haven't observed anything in the universe different than that. Like, Well, right, and we don't until we do, and that's kind of what I'm saying. I mean, I, I'm not saying that that is or is not, but it has to be the possibility that that's the case. I mean, what do you think, just as a thought experiment here, what do you think is below... 
quark? Is there something below that, or is it nothing? I mean, what's below that? I don't know. I don't that? know what's below that. But even if there are things that are below that, that's just like finessing our understanding of a model that we and explaining our model even more. But our well, but but, but not but explaining we don't have to model to that that becomes our model. No 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 no. That's absolutely not true. Because if we discover deeper things, that doesn't change our overlying view of things, right? Like this is one of the part of the argument I got in earlier. Like if we, even if we were to super finesse and go in and change all of our understanding of like and we know all these things, all these subatomic yeah. particles, it doesn't take something like photosynthesis and make it not true, right? Maybe like they use base five. Uh, photosynthesis being true, I mean, what do you mean? I mean, I'm saying that right now you could write that out in a in a what was it like six fucking carbon dioxide? I don't remember it. Plus um, water or, or the fucking shit plus sunlight equals fucking um, water and fucking all, like you can you can take something like photosynthesis and you can write it out in in a stoichiometric equation and it would always be true and no no like no underlying observation would ever make that untrue. Like you would just be finessing your understanding of things. Yeah, but the question for all this stuff is, why is that true? And our understanding of, of why things like that are, are to the next level. Not just, you know... Yeah, but I'm just saying, but, I don't, but finessing your understanding doesn't change the overlying, like, model. Right, but why it becomes true becomes the more important part. I, I know that sounds like very <clears throat> in-the-air type of thing. I'm just saying, if... if I, I, no, no, that, like, I understand what you're saying. To some extent, okay? So what you're saying is something like, okay, so let's say, so actually, I can put your argument in perfectly, okay? So let's say you have the number two, and you have two to the power of two, right? Two squared, right? Mm -hmm. And this equals four, right? So what I'm going to say is, okay, well, two to the power of two, in order to do this equation, is very simple. You just take the, the main number, the base number, and then you add it to the exponent, and that's, so 2 to the power of 2, you just take 2 and then you add 2 and then that equals 4. And that's how you get that. That's how you do those problems, right? And then you would say, well, our whole model could be wrong. It's actually 2 times itself again because that's how exponents work. It's not just 2 plus 2, right? So even though we got to the same answer, the way that we did it could be incorrect, right? You would have to change the underlying model, right? Yeah, that, that's all I'm saying. Okay, uh, but the problem is... it's just that we have a lot of assumptions... Yeah, but the, but the, but the, but the, but the reason numbers. why that works is because saying 2 to the power of 2 equals 4 is like saying 2 plus 2 equals 4, right? But but that's only one prediction, you have to right? Watch the anime hold on, hold on. The other civilizations literally didn't even understand bullets because they grew up using magic hold on, hold on. and arrows aliens could be like that sorry okay but what i'm saying is what we have here is like a million different a million different kinds of those assumptions that that make um a million different kinds of those kinds of assumptions all of these things, and we have a way of working this out, like 2 to the power of 2 is 4, because 2 squared equals 4, 5 squared is 25, you know, 4 squared is 16, 12 squared is 144, like, we know all of these things, right? Because we know how square, because we know how, you know, squaring things works, or, or you know, adding the exponent of 2, right? And then for you to come along and say, oh, no, 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 you're doing exponents all wrong, that's like, holy shit, what, really? We have all of these numbers that we can square and see that it's correct. It's wrong? That's like totally mind-blowing. I feel like that would be the same way. Like, you're saying the periodic table of elements, you're essentially saying that the entire periodic table of elements could be chance, which sounds like insanely improbable. Because everything well, I mean, works... Back, back to the, the, the thing with blood transfusions back then, they had a model that worked most of the time, and they thought that that was but true. But that model was, yeah. but the model was true. They just had to add on the, the um... No, they had, it was completely wrong. What they were looking at was ancillary data that was going based off of what was uh, you know, I can't explain this shit. Uh, okay, like, I, 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 I can't really... I can't really say the, um... Hold on. I, I can't really say, like, for sure, because I don't know, but, like, if you have a model of blood, of blood just being blood, and it does all of these things for you, and then you find out that there are blood types, discovering blood types doesn't completely disprove, like, every single thing in the past, right? No, what I'm trying to say is what they had was, was working, uh, for the most part. And it was correct, and all their okay. assumptions said that it was correct. Sure, but then I would make, but then I would make the argument that, well, they didn't have very many predictive qualities of that thing. If they can't even give blood from one person to another, then that probably wasn't, like, the best model. Like, I don't think comparing that Alien model of what blood is to the periodic table of elements helium is, like, a legit comparison, you know? Helium is I understand. Helium, um, um, yeah, I mean, it, all I'm trying to imply is that we have to uh, at least leave open the opportunity for a fact that if an advanced civilization was to come here, we have to leave it open for the fact that they might... 
view most of what we are and all this type of stuff is just complete. They don't know it because it's they're so past this point that it's not worth knowing. I mean, we don't. You know, there's a lot of you know lost data that we have from a long time ago. So uh, stuff, that's that's all I'm saying. So we have to leave open the possibility that they're so far advanced that they wouldn't need to know this type of data. But even if that were true, I was born with glass bones and paper skin. Every morning I break my legs, and every afternoon I break my arms. At night, I lie awake in agony until my heart attacks put me to sleep. But none of that is as painful Sorry. as listening to this discussion. Um, what what was the thing? What was the, what was the thing that we were just talking about? I don't know. I don't know, but I think Chap really likes this stuff. I think we should go for a long time. They're really happy. <laughs> um. Oh. Even if the even if what way that they were to discover was like so far advanced, I feel like the periodic table of elements still contains valuable information that can that has predictive qualities of very basic things like how stars work and how solar systems form, right? How we how we think they form and how we think they work. Well, based on a great deal, I guess, of empirical and mathematical evidence and observed things, I, I think we have like a decent understanding of, of how solar system compared and then combined with our no knowledge of math and how like angular uh, momentum and shit works like well i mean when you go really like lower we don't have i mean we have theories about how the universe was created and things like that but no no i'm not talking about the creation of the universe i'm just saying well, like no, in terms of like saying. how elements are distributed to planets based upon you know like how heavy they are so how far out they go from an exploding star how does a supernova like form like shit like that like Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that, like, there are so many predictive and valuable things that we glean from the periodic table. It's hard to imagine a model that would make all of that irrelevant. Maybe something deeper, or maybe something more advanced that gives us a better understanding, sure. But something that, like, renders the periodic table of elements useless seems really hard. Well, it's not, it's never going to be useless, certainly not to us. I'm just saying that we might But not only useless, but understandable to another alien civilization, I think. I, I, like, how do you get... I mean, it's stupid of me to ask, and it doesn't prove either of our points for me to ask, I guess, to say, how do you even get to something deeper than the periodic table without understanding the periodic table? But I guess it seems like right now it seems inconceivable. Theories. Scientific theories yeah, are theories. I mean, theories, I, I don't think it's within our understanding true. either. Like, I think there's a lot of stuff we just can't understand based off of the biology of, of how we're made and things like that. There's just some stuff outside of our comprehension. So. Okay. Anyways, good chat. That was fun. I think chat had a good time, so uh, I guess we'll leave it there. Gotcha. All right. I love you. It's been fun. Have, have fun. I'll see you later. Peace out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Does I, does I, Shika... Does I, Shika really want to do this? When you start physics, you learn that acceleration by gravity looks like 1 over 2 times gravity raised to the fucking time squared. That is an okay approximation, but it doesn't capture the entire truth. That's a good analogy for what you're saying. Sure. This will be the last guy, I swear to god. <laughs> this is the last guy. Yeah, dark science, like, I understand. I feel like people... I'm sorry, so to go back... I'm sorry, if you're just trying to... This is totally relevant. I'll be playing in a little bit. Maybe come back in, like, 20 minutes. I feel like people see the periodic table of elements, um, and they, like, they, they have this, and they, like, totally fucking... They think that, like, a lot of the arrangement is really arbitrary, and they think that, like, okay, well, I mean, like, people just put these things... But, like, so much of everything. Mathematics is whack. Nine, nine repeater equals ten. Get down. I feel like they're, like, for the periodic table of elements to be completely chance, 
that like everything and everything in it is just random chance and just happened to be correct and everything that pre like that just seems so insanely fucking like not that seems so ridiculously improbable like inconceivably improbable that the periodic table elements would be completely chance like the one who started it all the master debater what's up i shika Hey, what's up, buddy? How is it going? All right. Pretty good, dude. What do right. you tell us? What are you so mad about? Go ahead. Okay, so I actually wasn't that mad. I really think a lot of this was like a really huge misunderstanding. I think um, I okay. worded a lot of things wrong, and it just didn't go very well. Okay, so, so like, can you? Whole... Can I ask you then to, to explain <laughs> your comments? Can we? Can we do that real fast? Yeah, dude. Of course. Okay. Can you explain what you meant on the evening of the twenty third of July? When, when you said that aliens might not have the same elements on their planet as ours, what did you mean when you said that? Can you explain that statement? Yeah, okay, so that probably could have been worded better, but basically what I was trying to say, I wasn't trying to say they wouldn't be able to figure it out or predict it or anything like that. I was saying if they were missing something like oxygen, then we could be missing something that they have on their planet that is like we haven't predicted yet. I, was, I wasn't trying to say... Like, okay, okay, what you wrong. just said there... Is just as bad a statement. Can you further elaborate? No, it's not. It is though. What do you? Why? No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Why? You're asking me why it's possible that we're missing elements from our periodic table of elements. No, no, no. Not, not, not from the table. Like, they would obviously know something as basic as oxygen exists. What I'm saying is like one of these, like element 118 that we just recently synthesized in a lab, something like that that they just haven't even predicted yet or we haven't predicted yet. Like, when they first came out with the periodic table in 1867, right, right, like, Mendeleev, he predicted, like, no, he confirmed, like, 63 elements, and there were a bunch that he had to leave up to prediction. He, he didn't predict all 118 that we have now. What I, I wasn't trying to say the periodic table is wrong. Okay, wait, wait, real fast. That. Do you know where the higher elements passed? Like, I don't know what the number is, like, 110. Do you know where those come from? They were synthesized in a lab. Do, they, do don't, they don't occur in nature. There's only 84 primordial okay, elements. Okay, so why would a planet be made of all of these elements that are stable for like micro micro microseconds and don't naturally exist like i'm not i'm not talking about like one of the one of the higher up elements though so you're That's saying that like element like 23.5 or i mean maybe it wasn't even so much that i it really just got like out of hand i was trying to say that there are elements that haven't been predicted like, the, like, like there's 180 you... confirmed elements right now okay Right. So there weren't 118 predicted elements when they first made the periodic. Well, table. the number of predicted elements is theoretically infinite. Yeah, well, that's all I was trying to say. That's why I'm saying it's a huge misunderstanding on your part. But you just said, what if they have planets on? What if they have elements on their planet no, 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 that we see, haven't you're predicted? Trying, you're trying to take like one. I'm part not of my trying to take it. I'm just taking your your exact statement. No, no. But then I asked you for clarification, and you said that's not what I meant. I'm just saying, what if they have? You just said, do you want to do you want to say that statement again? Clarify it again, because it sounded. I thought I heard you say almost word for word. What if they have elements on their planet that we haven't predicted on our table? I thought that's exactly what you said word for word. Yeah. So. What what kind of elements do you mean that we haven't predicted? Like, do I look like I have a PhD in fucking chemistry to you? No, but we're not talking about grad level chemistry. We're talking about the periodic table of elements. <laughs> okay, well, you used one of your points that you you called me retarded for saying earlier about the whole dark matter, dark energy thing. Like, we don't understand what that is. That could be what I called you retarded. What I called you retarded for. We don't know anything about it because we're missing a huge piece of information. That's crucial the reason to why I called you retarded is because you made it sound like this is the same thing that creationists say or religious people say that just because we don't have one piece of the puzzle, we don't understand anything. Right? You made no, it. No, no, no. See, you're, you're wrong because I'm not saying that we don't understand anything or anything you like made that. A, I'm not saying okay. that the periodic table is wrong. I'm not saying that the understanding of science is wrong. Like the ether, that's something that was proven incorrect, but it doesn't have anything to do. It doesn't mean that gravity doesn't fucking pull things down to the earth. You said, green text, scientists have no understanding of dark matter or dark energy. Green text, scientists have everything all figured out in Le Ruse. First of all, I never said they had everything all figured out. Secondly, the insinuation for that sarcastic, epic green text comment was that since we don't understand dark energy, maybe every other thing we know is wrong. That's your insinuation there, no? No, because it's so...
sarcastic. Yeah, but the sarcasm there was insinuating... <laughs> what, what <is> it? <laughs> it's sarcastic. You can't take something that's sarcastic as like a serious thing. That I'm literally saying that scientists don't know anything about anything because I said a sarcastic comment about how they know everything. It, it, it Do you know what sarcasm is used for? It, that's what the insinuation was there. You sarcastically implied using sarcasm, right? You said, "Oh, we don't even know what dark." You said, "We don't even know what dark matter is." Sure, scientists have everything figured out. The insinuation there being that maybe a lot of our shit is wrong just because you don't know what dark matter is. That was the insinuate. No, no, no. Do you I was have just autism? To say anything was wrong. I was just trying to say that, like, ah, uh, dude, are you real? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and completely ignore that comment then, okay? Because I guess we're on different... It we're... was sarcastic. No, it was something completely different. <laughs> like I said, you should have majored in psychology because you're amazing at knowing what people are really thinking and how they're No, you're, you're, you should have majored in autism so that you could understand how your statements would be perceived by other people. What? I know exactly how they'll be perceived by other people. Why don't you understand how to apply sarcasm and the, and the kind of points that you make with it? you? What the fuck? Okay, if I were to say, uh, if I were to make the statement, you're great at sex, I've se or, like, you have a two-inch micropenis, you're great at fucking girls, sure, right? Then you would go, whoa, you're insinuating that I'm bad at sex just because I have a micropenis. And then I would go, no, I wasn't. I was just being sarcastic. No, you're using sarcasm as a tool there to apply a statement. Do you understand why sarcasm exists? How do you not understand this? Do you disagree with what I just said? You... No, because the example you used is different. Okay! You've got, okay, you've gotten in four car accidents because of drunk driving. Sure, you're a great driver. There, I use sarcasm to imply that you're not a great driver, right? Or, okay, so you want, child you protective service... You want to take it as a literal thing, though, that I was no, talking about it's everything, even just because I used that word. That's what sarcasm is! You, 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 you sarcastically implied that scientists have a poor understanding of the universe because we don't know one thing. That's what you, that's what you sarcastically implied. Uh, bruh. What I was trying to imply. Okay, tell me what you were trying to imply. They don't know. They don't know literally everything. And I've they never don't. said that. What a worthless statement. Obviously, scientists don't know everything, and I've never and implied what, that. What are we even arguing about? Because I am saying that we have discovered what are ninety-nine point nine 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 percent immutable truths of the universe, like one plus one equals two in an objective sense, not in any base bullshit, or the periodic table of elements, right? Hydrogen has one atom, helium has two atoms, right? That this that these things exist and can be arranged in such a way that it's rational, and that these immutable truths could be translated to other civilizations. And then you're saying, well, scientists don't know everything, so that can't so that's probably not true, right? That's that's what the argument was about. I'm not disagreeing with you. Like the periodic table is a universal truth. There, you're never, you're never gonna. You're find, not like, if you okay, like, okay, a okay. Situation in the universe okay, where I agree. hydrogen and okay, oxygen okay. don't fucking equate so to water. So then like, let that me ask never you. Happen. Okay, that's great. I'm glad you said that. So then, can I ask you why is it that when I said that you said, "What if these aliens don't have the same elements as us, or what if they have elements that we don't have?" How how is that relevant to the statement that the periodic table of elements is an immutable truth of the universe? Okay, I was trying to, I guess I worded it incorrectly. I was trying to convey that they might have elements on their periodic table that we don't have because we haven't predicted yet. Like, they're... Like, not, what? Not they... Like, what's a theoretical element that they could have? Like, something that exists in between two elements, or...? I don't fucking know. Do you? No, because I know how the periodic table of elements works, and I know that you can't have half a proton <laughs> in a fucking atom. I mean, I, I don't want to get into, like, giant what-ifs or anything like that. But yeah, you obviously can't have half of a fucking atom. That's retarded. So then why are you saying that they could have elements on their periodic table that doesn't exist? Because I was trying to tell you that the whole planet thing is a mistake <laughs> for, like, the last two hours. Okay, so Holy what do you shit. disagree with me on? Not a whole lot, honestly. So then why were you so mad at me in chat? Because you were calling me retarded when I wasn't being retarded. Okay, but you just had to clarify your statement so many times. You don't think that maybe it's okay if somebody assumes you're retarded based on the previous statements you made? No, because you get so over-rustled about shit that you take someone's points to the extreme without even taking a second to try and actually consider what they're trying to, like, get across. 
Okay, I feel like if you were to present- okay, so... Hold on, let me- I'm trying to find your... Okay. No, Why right. did you say this statement? Destiny, okay. since that was posted, three more elements have been added to the periodic table. Did they already know they existed? Probably. You really think that it is 100% impossible for them to discover another element even 50,000 years from now? What did that- what do you mean by that statement? You- you think that every predicted element right now, that's all there is. That's yeah. it. No, I've never- I, Destiny, you are proving Hold on. yourself wrong. Not- not just confirmed, but like the, the elements protest. that they have predicted based off Obviously, the ratios and all of the shit that they have through the basic fundamentalist bullshit the of the periodic table. table. That, the, that prediction Therefore, of whatever- how many other- other elements, that's it. There will never be anything else. An alien period table. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm sorry, could you, I don't understand. Can you rephrase the question and explain it more? I don't understand yeah, what sure. you're asking. Okay, so, say as an example, like, there's 118 confirmed elements right now, right? Okay. So if there was 200 predicted, that 200 predicted, based off the theory that they have right now, how all this works, which I shouldn't say theory, the math, the math they use now to predict new elements that 200 elements that are predicted, you don't think there's like a 201 or a 202 or anything like that. It's just, that's it. Okay, hold, I'm going to answer you in one second, but I want to ask a quick okay. question first. What, what makes an element, like how does it get the number on the periodic table of elements? It has to do with the atomic weight and the protons and the nucleus or whatever bullshit. Okay, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure an element on the periodic table of elements is just given based on the number of protons in the nucleus. That's it. One proton is hydrogen. Two protons is helium. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight is oxygen, I think. I don't fucking know. Right? And so on and so forth. Right? It, so, yeah. if you, if, so when, you, when you ask me, could 120 yeah. exist? I mean, if you have a big enough machine with enough power to slam... As, as much power into a fucking... In, is, is just, I'm pretty sure the way that we create bigger... Do you know how we create bigger elements? Did I ask you this? It's pretty much just like bombarding Alien fucking nucleuses with a fucking yeah, protons. Yeah, it's, it's done in a particle. Yeah, yeah, and like then they're mass stable. Mass speed. The and then they're stable. Um, hold on. For like a split second and then they deteriorate. <laughs> Not even, yeah, like a split, like a micro nano microsecond, right? Like, yeah, like... Yeah, like they're a just crazy stable. Short yeah. amount of time. So, I mean, I think theoretically, you can have an infinite number of elements, assuming you have an infinitely powerful particle accelerator. So, wh what are you asking me? Can you make uh, can you make uh, element one twenty? Well, sure. If you have enough energy in a particle accelerator to do it, sure, you can make up to I think a theoretical infinite number of. But that that was the whole basis of my argument originally. So you think? So let me, so let me ask you this. You think that I genuinely think that past one eighteen, no new elements exist. You think that I think that? I did because you were you like just didn't answer the question like how many times is that in my logs with no response? I didn't answer that question because it's totally fucking irrelevant to everything. Uh, all of the new ones that we've had, the, what do you the, the one eight? I, is it one hundred? I don't know when they started making what what number it is when we started synthesizing new ones in labs for like nano nano nanoseconds. But like obviously those were all created in a lab. They're not naturally occurring, and we made them by bombarding nucleuses with fucking protons. Like I, I don't think that. If we make a new one, like 119 or 120 or 121, like, how, how does that change anything that we've talked about? Like, how is that relevant to anything that we're talking about? It's not. You, there was a huge misunderstanding with my original argument, which is why you got, like, so mad at me and were calling me retarded. And that's why I was calling you retarded. It's just, that's what I've been trying to say this whole time, is it was a huge misunderstanding. I agree. Hold on. You know that, okay, Destiny, no, I'm not. What I'm trying to say is that there could be a piece of knowledge we're missing, which is, okay. <laughs> Shit. I'm sorry. Okay, let me read this. Destiny, no, I'm not. What I'm trying to say is that there could be a piece of knowledge we're missing, which is why there is a theoretical possibility of more than 118 elements in the periodic table. You know that if we discovered element 119 and 120 and 121, that's not because we were missing knowledge, right? Like, that is no, nothing... No, I, I understand that, because those are the... That's the same process as how you get the new ones. Okay. But it's something like dark matter. Like, if, if dark matter is made up of known elements, we should just be able to be like, oh, okay, well, you do this element with this one, and they interact in this way, and that's how you get dark matter. But we can't do that. So it's, it's got to be something beyond our understanding with our current knowledge. 
So that so then the whole periodic table of elements is wrong, or no, oh, it never said that. It'll never be wrong. You will never take hydrogen and oxygen and get something other than water. It, just because just because there's something else going on with something doesn't invalidate like an entire fucking school of thought or theory or knowledge. So then, what do you like, disagree with about that, that? That so then, why would you argue with me when I say that you could communicate the periodic table of elements to an alien civilization? Why would you argue I'm against that? Never argued, never argued against that. That that's the thing. I never argued against that. Obviously, you could send like fucking drawings of the element with like hydrogen with the one fucking dot around it and helium with two, and they're going to be able to recognize that those are element elements, even if the periodic table how we have it set up isn't completely obvious because theirs is organized differently. It's the same with fucking prime numbers. Like math is a universal language; they're going to be able to understand it. Destiny, please understand that the guy you are talking with does not understand how. Elements in the RPG, that's not what I'm talking about. By number of Obviously, you can get other things by combining... Oh, my God. <laughs> RPG, please kill yourself. Okay. Thanks, bro. Okay. I mean, it sounds like you're saying a lot of things that I agree with now, but based on what I was reading in chat, I think that any reasonable person could read it and think that you're statements were very questionable i mean maybe but it was still a misunderstanding oh hey final fury fuck you though okay have fun i love you peace out buddy. all right okay. i love you too buddy we'll, right. we'll talk again soon all right okay bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay i think i think we're done Destiny, an alien civilization that perceives the universe in an entirely different way than we do might have entirely different scientific laws that we do. I mean, okay. I I want I think I I think I just want to be done with this. I think I I think I just want to move on. Is that okay? Call me now. Everybody is. I don't. I. I don't know how many people want to be called. Just what. So can we let the chemical engineer guy talk? Why? What is the chemical engineer? Who's the chemical engineer guy? Destiny, you are so fucking wrong. Kill yourself. I have a master's in quantum mechanics if you want to talk. Okay, I think it's only worth talking if you disagree with me, though. Because I don't want to bring on somebody who disagrees with me and then we circle jerk. Because then everybody in chat will be like, oh, you're just circle jerking. Is there anybody with an educated background in, in chemistry, or I guess physics, that disagrees with me? Anybody that, like, anybody with an educated background that completely disagrees with me? I don't want to bring on somebody just to circle jerk. If you, if you have, like, a master's or a bachelor's in, like, a relevant field and you completely disagree with me, then tell me. I have a master's in art history and I disagree with you. <laughs> I'm a master's and I'm fucking your mom. I disagree that you can make new elements by bombarding elements. I don't know how it's actually done. I don't fucking remember that shit. I thought that I thought that making new elements is like you take some shit in a fucking uh, proton accelerator with an Dang. ungodly amount of energy and you just smash it into each other. You make new Dang. elements Sorry. for like a Universal nanosecond. Language more than mathematics and chemistry will. But I mean, I could, I could be totally wrong. I, I don't remember about this shit. That the first most we <sighs> come across will okay. own a peppy shirt. All right, I think I'm just gonna play. I think I'm just going to go ahead and... Destiny, the new elements could naturally exist. We just haven't observed their existence in nature. I feel like that's not right. 
I thought that there was like a really good reason why the was it eighty seven only exists exists naturally because of how the universe is formed or whatever. I mean, I could be wrong. This is getting into things that um gets like past my basic high school understanding. Okay. Heavier elements are created naturally when stars explode. Yeah, but they decay, like, insanely quickly. Like, they decay almost instantaneously, right? Like... Destiny, if you were a Christian, you would realize that God is a pretty dang dude, so he could easily make the peeps look like FEFEs to the aliens. It's the same with science. Clearly. Jaina versus Uther. I will fight with honor. You asked for it. Okay, I've tried on everything but the free drop. We're back to Hearthstone, okay? <laughs> okay, we got some good drops. Dude, I... Oh, man. Coining out the two... I'm probably gonna coin out a three drop here. Oh, fuck. No, I think I might coin out a four drop. So, rare elements not on the regular periodic table are probably forming somewhere. I don't know I don't understand what you mean by that. When you say that rare elements on the periodic table are probably forming somewhere, what does that even mean? Put this apple on your head. Why did I play knife juggler? Chugger would have frozen him, and then I could have. Oh no! That was a huge mistake. I need. I'm done talking. Sorry. I didn't even think that was an easy chugger play. That was such an easy chugger play, and I just fucked up for no reason. Oh, okay, I'm done. We're done talking about this. I'm gonna get too Russell. There's too many fucking idiots in chat. I can't believe I just wasted Jugger. I am gonna lose. What are we, three wins? This is 3-3. Three, three. Snow Chugger comes out, challenges the 2-2. He would be frozen because of the Divine Shield. I would lose my um, Snow Chugger, but he would be frozen. I would lose my Snow Chugger because he would have to face him, and then the uh, mini bot would just be frozen without a Divine Shield. Oh! Chugger freezes when he deals damage. Oh, oh, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Because the Divine Shield would have blocked that. Okay, so maybe that wasn't horrible. What did I just do? Oh, God. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm um, pay attention. <laughs> Not on my way. <laughs> Should I just leave? I don't like this deck anyway. This game is already over. I've never seen a game more over than what this game is right now. Oh my fucking god. Just just fuck me up, fam. Do it. Magic <laughs> Did I just I think I coined out a three drop on my turn three. Holy shit. Oh, because, um, Chugger would have at least frozen him for one turn, yeah. Did you think the first two guys said are retarded or you just disagreed with them? Because I'm pretty sure they said things that you could hear in philosophies. I don't know. I feel like they just don't understand the periodic table of elements. I think a lot of people don't. Anytime I hear somebody talk about how their aliens could have a totally different periodic table, I feel like they're just saying because they don't know what the periodic table of elements is. can see a spectrum of colors just because some alien comes to our fucking planet, our red doesn't change fucking color because they see the color differently. Uh, like, WTF are people thinking? I think I just toss out my five drop here, or I could do a three and a two. What to do? I think the three and the two is okay, actually. But I have no spells. Three and the two is okay, because then I can draw a spell, and then it'll be dank as fuck. I don't even deserve to be in this game, regardless. Job done.
Destiny, not completely different, but maybe one element more. Shut the fuck up. Nope, stop. If you say anything and you clearly have no fucking idea what you're talking about, you're just getting banned. Shut the fuck up. Stop. That's the new rule. That's the new rule. The Destiny dick ride is real. Okay, Aishika, I asked you, what is an element? And you started talking about, oh, well, like the ratios and the atomic weight and blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm back. 